How's it going, guys? And welcome here to Bars of Variety. And just when you thought that it is looking unlikely that Barcelona will win La Liga, like we all thought that Barcelona, it's probably over for them. But now, the La Liga title can go in any way in favor of either Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, or even Sevilla can snatch this title. This title race is crazy and it can go any way. But in today's video, we have the chance to go top of La Liga, even if it's for now. It's Barcelona visiting Levante at their home stadium. And this is a very important game and we cannot take this easily. We're going to be talking about the game in full length and in full detail. So let's get started. Kickoff will be coming 10 p.m. live from Levante's home. And guys, these are the times all around the world where you can watch this game wherever you are. And yes, guys, you heard that right. This is a game where Barcelona can top La Liga. Even if it's for now and we still have to wait for Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid to play. This is a game where we can top La Liga. And just like you guys probably right now, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe what is happening. Because we are at the same place that we are after Real Madrid and Sevilla shared the points. Just like Atletico and Barcelona also did with Real Madrid getting a late late winner and it was so frustrating to see Real Madrid get that late winner. But then if we do take a look at our rivals and we do start with league leaders Atletico Madrid like we always do. They will be facing a huge test at the Anoeta away to Sociedad and that for them it won't be easy it's not only them who has a tricky game because it's also real madrid who also have a very very tough game it is at the estadio del Alfredo di stefano and they will be facing granada at home and that is also a one to keep an eye on and that brings us to the la liga table atletico madrid in first place with 77 points real madrid in second place with 75 points Barcelona in 3rd place with 75 points tied with Real Madrid and Sevilla are trying to get something out of this La Liga title race with 71 points and as you can see the title hasn't changed the La Liga table hasn't simply hasn't changed basically it hasn't changed because all the top 4 teams each one got 1 point. So that means we are all on the same amount of points that we were on the second one, basically, if you look at it that way. And when we do take a look at the games, the three games remaining for each top team. As let's go with you, they've got a tricky Sociedad game, and then they've got Osasuna, and they've got Real Valladolid, Real Madrid, they've got Granada, Athletic Bilbao, Villarreal, Barcelona, we've got Levante, Celta Vigo and Eibar, Sevilla, they've got Valencia, Villarreal, and Deportivo Alaves. And one thing you can see is that Real Madrid have the toughest final three games. And we can, you can say we have the simplest three final games. And we can really win this league. Believe it or not, just when we thought we, it was over for us, just when we were like, okay, we accept this is over, we can still win this league and it can go for any of those four teams. But then, if we do actually take a look at our rivals and the team that we are playing and the, fo and the match we are focusing on, it is Levante. And they currently sit 14th place in the La Liga table above their relegation zone and they will be wanting to confirm themselves out of their relegation zone and what i think about levante is they are actually an underrated team 
And I actually think they are a very, very good team with some experienced players. They've got some old players that are very, very experienced in La Liga. The Spanish, like Morales, he is on hot fire form. And Levante, they are an actually underrated team. And I remember once at the season, they were in 8th place. And we should not take this easily. Because if you look at the experiences Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid have had with them, they are not good because they made and they took three massive points from Real Madrid but not only that they also took five massive points from Atletico Madrid beating them at the one drop Multripolitano 2-0 and dropping them two points in their home stadium and not only that if we do take a look at it again we actually had some difficulties beating Levante. So heading into this game, this is not an easy game. And if you remember that game that we beat them 1-0 at the camp now, we had to work very, very hard to break through their defense. It is actually a rock-solid defense, and we cannot take this easily. And if we do win this game, we can put the pressure on Real Madrid, and Atletico Madrid and we play before both of them so let's get the job done let's get these three points and let's see if Atletico Madrid can lose to a tricky Real Sociedad side and also Real Madrid can lose to a tricky Granada side and we would just mount all the pressure on them and you could imagine they are going to drop points in one of these three games but that does take us to Ronald Koeman's squad selection and his squad list because there are some big big news on the injury touchline it's a quick injury recovery from none other than Sergio Busquets and will be so so happy and will be welcoming Busquets back into the starting 11 I don't think it's something too serious for Busquets it was just a face injury and that takes us to the starting 11 that Ronald Koeman will put out on Tuesday night. He will start with Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal, and we all know that. Then it will be Langley, because Ronald Koeman won't take any risk. And I just want to remind you that Oscar Mingueda, Antoine Griezmann, Frank De Jong, and Messi are one yellow card away from suspension, but I really don't expect that to affect Ronald Koeman's squad selection. He will go with PK, who has been playing a lot recently, but we do need him and we do need his leadership. And then, at the right center back, there's a huge, huge decision. Do you go for Oscar Mancuda or do you go for Ronald Araujo? And I would go for Ronald Araujo. And I think Ronald Koeman, from what he saw against Atletico Madrid, he will go for Ronald Araujo. And he has learned that Araujo is a more complete defender than Oscar Mancuda. And of course, at left wing back, you will have Jordi Alba. And then, at right wing back, another big decision, it will be Sergio Roberto, simply because Sergio Des didn't do anything offensively in the last game. Neither did he do anything defensively. And he needs some rest. And you just see his tiredness. And that is why I would go for Sergio Roberto. And I think Ronald Koeman will give a final chance to Sergi Roberto. But then in midfield, it's definitely going to be Frank De Jong. But then the question about this is Sergio Busquets ready to start this game? It didn't look like a serious injury, it just looked like a face injury. And there are reports saying that he could wear a protective mask to play this game but i really do think sergio busquets will start this game it's nothing too serious and we hope that he will start this game because of all the control he gives us in that midfield and then another huge decision and these are always the same decisions that Ronald Koeman has to make every single game do you go for pedri and two attackers or do you go for three attackers and i would go for three attackers i'll go for messi Antoine Griezmann and the Frenchman, Ousmane Dembele making his return from that right-hand side, playing a more central role, and that would complete my starting 11. I think it's very, very important to go with three attackers from the start so we can get that important, important goal. And I would love to see Ousmane Dembele 
finally back in the starting 11 after such a long time. And I think this team would definitely get the three points against a poor Levante side. When it comes to my prediction, I predict we will get the three points. We will get the job done. It will be Levante 1, Barcelona 3. And of course, guys, this will be a very, very crucial game in the La Liga title race. So let me know in the comment sections down below, how would you line up? I would be very, very interested to see how you would line up. Let me know all your score predictions in the comment sections down below. But if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you after the game.